OH world record. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! That wasn't, but first time, what? How? That is insane. How is that possible? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, paper. That's what we need. Let's confirm our next task of the day. Ah. Okay, I read this three weeks ago. Hey, guys, it's Aimcuber. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve the Mega Minx. This Mega Minx is pretty simple to solve. And I'm going to scramble it. Okay, scrambled it all up. And I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to solve it. So if we're going to do red, this is a red edge piece. But it won't just go into there because this one is blue and blue, but this one is purple and red. So how do we do it? Move it out and then just move it around the cube until you get it to a position. Here we go, here's the red side, we're gonna insert it. Move it down, there we go. And the yellow one. It's pretty much the same for the rest of the edge pieces, so pause the video and finish the cross or the star. Now that you've finished the star, one, two, three, four, five edge pieces. Let's make sure that it's correct. We've got yellow and yellow, we've got purple and purple, we've got dark green and dark green, red and red dark blue and dark blue so we have it we're all done now we're going to do this so we're going to we're going to insert a corner into here so here's a corner dark blue and yellow and white so what did I do well it's simple all I did was just simply um, get this and and just move it into this area where if I moved it over here it could just go in like this so there we go it's now inserted and this one well it's already in position to go into there I forgot to mention before you learn this because I'm going too fast click the i card up there so that you can learn how to solve 3 or 3 first and let's see what we can do. So this edge piece goes into there. And I already showed you how to do this, so let's just move it around. I'm just gonna do this until, oh yeah, there we go. And then this one, pretty simple. There we go. And that'll be done the first time we can do the second try. Okay, that was a bit fast. And now that we've done the first layer, we're going to get the second layer. So if we wanted to do dark blue and red, the edge piece goes over here and we are going to move it in the spot on a side where, where if we moved this top layer, it would match one of these colors and go into there. So in this case, we insert it and that's it. If you want to see what video I learnt the Mega Minx from, click the i card up there and subscribe to that YouTube channel, which is up there. Okay, on with the tutorial. Now we're going to do the other side. Yeah, we're not done. You're probably like, ah, what to do, what to do, what to do? But don't worry, I'm going to teach you. So let's do one of these sides. Let's do the yellow side as a star. Let me show you how to do that. So, find the yellow pieces and move this layer. You can move this side if it's not involved with this F2L case, because like, for example, purple, dark green, red, dark blue, yellow, and white are the sides not to move. Yeah, don't move them because then it's going to ruin it. If you move these sides only, then then uh, then it won't ruin F2L. It'll do no effect. You can do that. Easy peasy. So, let's go. So, we're going to insert it like normal. And then this one, 
I'm going to insert it. Yep, that was simple enough. And then we can insert the pieces the same. You probably think we had to move it, but if we then put it back in when it's in position, there you go. So let's just get this edge piece in. And that is how you can do it. Okay, and now don't move these sides when you do this. Now, however, you are going to move them only for inserting pieces into there. That's the only time you can do it. So let's do this. Hmm. I'll just do this advanced technique because I taught you how to do it already. So I taught you how to do this up to the last layer. If we get one edge piece there, then hold it however you want and just do, you know, this algorithm. Three edges, hold them right there, and then just do this algorithm. Do this, do it in reverse. But if you get this edge case when they're in a set like this, you got to do this instead. And there you have it. So if you have this edge and this edge right here, hold them like this, hold this one there and this one there, and just do this one. But if there's this one and that one, then you do the same thing and then, and then you're back to this case, which you can do already. If you get one edge only, right, I can't set up this case. I've given up trying to set up the case where you only get one edge, but if you keep moving it and you only get one edge or zero edges, then then let's just pretend we're in that case then you just gotta hold that edge in the back and then just do a soon and then just do the algorithm and then and then just see what case you're in you get to orient the corners by doing holding it up here and doing this algorithm repeat and then there you go now move the bottom layer until you get it now do that again there you go so now that you've done it, you just gotta permute the edges by doing this algorithm, moving it this way, inserting it in, and then moving it until, see, this one, that one, don't go in here, try this one, there we go. Now let's see, not this one, there we go, here's the one. Done. And then when you do this one, and then you find it, then you do it again, but then you can't find anything for that edge piece over there. So you just take out any edge piece that's not solved yet. And then you do, that solves it. And then just finish it off, and that solves the cube. Hope you like this. If you do, leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. And share with two people.